AK Geeks. What's up, everybody? How's it going? Uh, I'm coming to you guys today with not only this month's latest loot crate, but I gotta get this one. My first Smuggler's Bounty box. Now, got both of these today as I'm recording this, which is, of course, the 21st. And for those of you not familiar with me, doing these from my Geeky Goth Gamer Dad site, which this will also be on. I tend to do these as best I can and try to keep it on the surprise. I don't like looking into the box. I do it right from when I get it. So, grab the scissors, both Loot Crate and the Funko Star Wars box or subscription boxes that are catering Loot Crate caters to a mixture of stuff. Uh, this month's was Invasion, and the Smuggler's Bounty, I think it was, it was Resistance when it started, I forgot what it's name now. So, yeah, I have it open, I have my hand in it, and I'm just going to pull the first thing out of the box, because I don't like looking into it. First thing out of the box is the t-shirt, and it's an X-Files t-shirt. I'm not personally. I wasn't a fan of the show originally. I think I only saw one episode, and that's when they dealt with vampires, and that's the only one I ever watched to its fullest. But I know it's making a comeback, so that's. I guess this is the I believe, still believe shirt because it looks really nice. I liked that green, which is something that is pretty cool. Uh, this one will probably go to the wife. I think she was more of an X-Files fan, more so than I am. But um, it, it's just still a nice shirt. Couldn't wrap up in a baggie. What the hell is this? All right, this is a <laughs> a face hugger. <laughs> it's an alien face hugger. Uh, but it's a cute little Loot Crate exclusive funny plush. <laughs> now, everybody knows, I yes, I take my things out of bags and boxes. I don't leave them in there. So, yes. This is actually pretty cute. Oh, uh, it, it seems like they have a chest burster and then the xenomorph with the Happy face on the tongue. I guess there's three of them. Uh, I'll take I'll take the little face hugger. No problem. All right, let's see what's next. Back to X Files. We have an LED flashlight that's water resistant, anti shock, and it also has the batteries. Pretty cool. Something I can throw on my keychain. Possibly because that looks like a really weak ring on there, though, so I might have to switch that out. But not not too bad. Still in the X Files theme. And... All right. Foreshadowing. Three AAA batteries. Hmm. I have. <laughs> Okay, this is funny. Fifth element. I have a winner of a Lilu Dallas Multi Pass. Now, what's funny is that in this household, I have a five year old who's just learning to read. So, how she says multi is multi, and she figures that the I says its name. So, how do I explain it to her? I talked to her about the Lilu Dallas Multi Pass. <laughs> so, I'll be able to show her this. This is great. I'm going to love this. And it's actually has a plastic card sleeve with it. That's you see, I like that. It's pretty cool. So, let's see. 
Okay, this, this one's one, two, three, three plus the batteries and the t-shirt. We're at four items plus the batteries. So we have a mini alien space invaders. Let's see if we can get that because of the light. That's a little better. Well, we could just pop them out of the box. I'm wondering if this is the little guy that doesn't say these batteries. Blue crate exclusive. No, nah, this is definitely not. He's like a little rubbery. So, pretty sharp, pretty cool. Off colors. I think I think that is a very genius little thing. I face Space Invaders was a classic. Well, I shouldn't say was. It is a classic game. So, that's that. I still want to know what the batteries are for. A uh, rubber band. <laughs> this is getting weird. Okay. Oh, they changed out the pins. Oh, that's sharp. No more buttons. There you we get in actually loot pins. And it seems like this pin unlocks something special. And as you can see, I don't know if you can get that. It's a little alien spaceship holding a loot crate box. But I'm glad they did this. That's that's pretty cool. Still wonder uh, what the batteries were for. Oh, okay. It's for this. It says batteries included, but separately, packaged separately. So now we know what the batteries are for. Somebody explain to me what the rubber band's for. And then we have invasions of the mini prints. This is something different for them. Oh, War of the Worlds, one of my favorite movies. And the day the earth, oh, the day the earth stood still. That's pretty cool. Two classic films, Universal Pictures. I'm gonna have to find. I'm gonna find somewhere in the house to put it first of all. But first thing is find some decent frames for them. These are nice. There's a new take. Still not sure what the rubber bands are for. Uh, I think I'm. Okay, I'm at the book. Now. It seems like it unlocks. A comic book by Oni Press called Letter 44. At least that's what the pin does. So that that's cool. Never, never could argue with it. Now to see something before I get the inside of a box. It looks like an old star style cabinet. Let's see if I can do this real quick before anything. I love doing these as I'm unboxing just that. Something forgot. Something didn't get caught. And that's what the box looks like flipped inside out. So it's supposed to be a replica of the Space Invaders cabinet, but instead it's called Invasion. That side and then back, of course, watch, listen, play, share. Enjoy more invasion at lootcrate.com slash experience. I still want to know <laughs> why I got a rubber band in mine. But that was this month's invasion loot crate. 
Now on to this bad boy, which is Star Wars Smuggler's Box, brought to you by Funko. So, of course, that's a collaboration with Disney, and di they also have one for Marvel, which I get as well, and I'm a little peeved because I'm still waiting on my Guardians of the Galaxy box, Funko, which you said it was going to be 30 days after my renew subscription because they, they forced me to cancel my subscription even though they charged me for it so that it seems like PayPal didn't make a re order request for said box but I should be set up for Deadpool and I should be getting the Guardians old shortly so depends when so once again Star Wars this is a little different because I have to they always do a lid there and of course as you see there's the patch with BB-8 and the pin which has Poe on it. This is my first one because I missed out on the initial launch box. So I'm gonna pop Nah, you guys don't want to move, huh? I'm try to do this without this pin. We'll go right. There goes my phone. Okay. Now, we can get right into it. First thing is the t shirt. And it looks. Uh, yeah, it's a Force Awakens t shirt. This one will definitely stay with me, unlike the X Files one. get it out of the bag get a good look at it the navy blue t-shirt and uh, bluish white character profiles Han and Chewie are up top with Ray, Poe and Flynn leading the charge and everyone's favorite little new droid BB-8 right there so if you have not seen the movie it's phenomenal go see it what are you waiting for should have seen it a thousand times by now. I've watched it four times. And I think I plan on watching it two, a few more times before. Quite a few more times before. So, as we get in here, of course, because I have to. We have. Chewy, which is actually pretty cool because in the last Loot Crate box, which was Galaxy. I got an exclusive Han Solo pop figure. So looks like he has his buddy Chewie with him. I don't know what makes. Oh, okay. <laughs> Usually the Funkos are molded plastic, and that's it. Chewie here has a salt, velvety look to him. He's got a skin to him that makes him a little actually makes him fuzzy so that's pretty cool I guess that's what makes him the exclusive for this box only this is the only place you can get it so he's going to sit with Han and yes he will be out of the box and then the last thing we have is the C-3PO ceramic mug <laughs> I love the play on this because of the red arm even though if you guys haven't seen it yet this is not a major spoiler at the end the red arm goes back to being gold you have to be really careful but you, if, you, if you pay attention to the ending you'll catch it that he's back to normal at the, as the film ends but it's really cute very Funko-esque of course but He's got to find a home. I'm going to see... Did I use him? Seems like there, there's an entire line of housewares. So, that's the smuggler's box, which, hey, surprisingly, no... No comic book. 
thought the first one, if I'm not mistaken, had a comic book. I know the Marvel ones tend to have comics each month based on the theme. So, it's odd that Star Wars, knowing that Marvel has the licensing for Star Wars, doesn't have a comic inside. No matter. That was this month's Smuggler's Bounty, as well as the Invasion from Loot Crate. Hope you guys appreciate it. As always, follow us here at AKA Geeks. Follow us on our Twitter page, our Facebook page, and all the links will be down below. If you're interested in your own, either the Smuggler's Bounty or the Loot Crate boxes, I'll have a link below in the description. All right, until next time, catch you on the dark side. Peace.